did you know the the African excellency of Guinea just dropped the truth bomb at the United Nations on the corporate U.S. and democracy. He killed it about democracy. He made some very strong points and his speech was on point. Defining how the West and colonization <coughs> have been a heavy demise to their culture. And he said that model does not fit Africa. And for all these generations and decades of colonization from all these different folks coming in and colonizing from France, China, Russia, all these people, U.S., all this, all this, you know, colonization of the treaty. He said that model doesn't work for them. It might have worked good for the West and the United States. It might work great for y'all. And he named all the demisable defects of democracy and how what it has done to their people and the system and the elite in democracy in Africa. And then you think about it. He's, <coughs> excuse me. He said it might work for people in the West. What? That's when you know y'all mentally sick, not Africa. I'm talking about us over here, and I'm not mentally sick because I'm awoken on it people of the West and America, you got people on TikTok and stuff like, we're with you, Africa, we stand with you, we ain't even with that shit. It ain't even about standing with Africa, it's about knowing what they say, because that's their whole continent, they got it, they, they gonna do what they do. But we'll be, because they over there on their continent, but what we gonna do on this continent? What we gonna do over here, because they say that the model of democracy fit well over here, and that's a lie. All y'all motherfuckers going ridiculous as far as everything. Mm. Let's watch some of he say and return back with some of the Don Golf or the game. Let's listen. Let's listen to what he got to say. Ignorance, I'll grab you by your crackhead neck. Take you back to Egypt where you learn respect. And on one knee and through one way You follow out the path of the new sun ray Let it click Africa, ladies and gentlemen Is suffering from a governance model That has been imposed on it A model that is Certainly Good and effective for the West Which developed it over the course of its history But which is difficult to incorporate and adapt to our realities, our customs, and our environment. Alas, I have to say that the graft did not take. I know that when I say this, many will immediately say to themselves, oh, another warmonger who wants to wring the neck of democracy or another soldier who wants to impose his dictatorship. However, I want to say very clearly, without hypocrisy, without pretense, eye to eye, we are all aware that this democratic model that you have so insidiously, skillfully imposed on us after the La Bolle summit in France. Something you've been imposing almost religiously. This model does not work. Various economic and social indices demonstrate this plain and clear. This is not a value judgment on democracy itself. 
believe me, this is just taking stock of the situation. It's a balance sheet. Over several decades of chaotic experimentation with this model in our environment, we can make this observation. This was a period full of nothing but political games. And this, of course, has been to the detriment of what is essential, namely the economy and the local processing of our natural resources. Allow me to take this truth exercise a little further. Through my short but very intense experience of managing a state, Guinea, I have come to better understand the extent to which this model has, above all, contributed to maintaining. So, yeah, y'all need to get it together because the time has come when people speaking of the revolution in these formats and I'm pretty sure all kind of nations and continents been waiting for the rise of what we going to do over here. It's very intricate, um, intricate plot. So a lot of knowledge, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of hatred and a lot of systems and a lot of fraternities formed here to defy this moment about that breaking point chain of how they don't want Moroccan Americans, Marsh Americans to feel like that over here. They like these niggas better not. These niggas better not. Because they made treaties to be here <laughs> and set the record straight on their behalf. That's what they. That's what. That's how they feel. Yeah, hey man, it's deep over here. Yeah, we. I think we better get together asap. It's time. Okay, so I really liked your Alex, your excellency, excellencies, um, his speech. You know, it's gonna be time for us to drop intelligent speeches of that magnitude here about our situation and we got going on instead of being on TikTok and ranting and raving and putting little pieces and stuff together for y'all to uh meet the um meet the bar of where we at and where this need to be at. Um we're a nation of Moors that have been denationalized and declassified. And whatever you want to call yourself here on this continent, you still have been denationalized and declassified. And you fall under all kind of subjective means of status and jurisprudence and all kind of other things that you have not studied to recognize. And it's still a battle when you get there. You guys are down here. You got to step it up. It's time to take back a lot of inherent birthright stuff and know some of this knowledge. It's deep. We have studied this knowledge for so long and it's still an ocean front <clears throat> of traveling through does this um cosmic these cosmic waters of the maritime French President Emmanuel Macron has reaffirmed the ambassador's presence in Niger, despite the junta's demands. Macron also repeated France's support for Niger's ousted President Mohamed Bazoum, whom he commended for his courageous decision not to resign. Macron's statement was made during a major foreign policy speech to ambassadors in Paris and sent a clear message that France is willing to engage in every type of wickedness. Part two. Our genetical structure is playing out plain as day here. Who we are, what we be doing, what we um, exhilarate on our energy level. That dude is one of them dudes. He like, 